All right, for this next one here, it says construct a line segment whose length is equal to the difference of the lengths. That means we're going to subtract. Now that's really just like going backwards. Instead of adding on and pushing more onto it, we're going to work our way backwards. Now the difference of two things, we don't really have negative when we're talking about length, so we're going to take the bigger one. So we'll call this one the big one or the long one. Let's call it that, the long one. And we're going to subtract the small one from that. So how do we do that? Well, the idea is instead of going forwards, instead of putting more on it, we're going to take some off. We're going to go backwards. So to go backwards, it's pretty much, it's almost easier than the other one. Because really all you have to do is, well, let's get our anchor points on here. So we'll put our endpoints, mark those up so we can see them a little bit better. So I'm going to see how big, oh, I need a little bit extra space here. There we go. So I'm going to put this wheel on the end point of that small one. And then I notice that it doesn't even go into the, the colored part, like the, the anchor point or the end point is right here inside the wheel. So in order for me to see that, i got to use this wheel to rotate around and see if I can get to it. Maybe this outermost point will be close enough. So let's see if we can get it right there. So if I took the furthest point out on the inside of the wheel, and yep, that hits it just right. So from this point here to this point here is from the wheel to the outermost point on the, uh, the, the outside edge of the wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wheel on one of these edges. doesn't really matter which one necessarily. So we'll put this here. And then I'm going to take the closest one to the edge again. Mark it on the line. And then there we go. What did I just do? I took the big one and I'm taking away this and I'll be left over with. I'm about to draw a segment right now, kind of tracing it over the top of the other one. And this right here represents the difference, the subtraction. So let's say this whole thing right here was 7 and I should say it's the whole thing, not just that little piece. So the whole thing is 7, and this little piece was 4, then this leftover would be 3, because we took away 4, and we're left with 3. There you go. So that's finding the difference between two lengths using constructions.